So what I'm presenting here this Friday at the AGU meeting is about positive ID that we found for wildfire smoke from the 2012 summer um, drifting over the Greenland ice sheet, making it darker. <laughs> that was short. Uh, let me, um, I can elaborate on that. Um, Please. Greenland expert Dr. Jason Box has created the Dark Snow Project, an internet-based, crowd-sourced citizen science initiative to send a team to investigate the causes of darkening Greenland ice and accelerating surface melt. The project is now almost halfway to its funding goal. We are very fortunate to have data from two satellite missions that um, give us positive ID that fires are active in um, northern North America, uh, northern Canada, and atmospheric trajectories that link that smoke with the destination, the Greenland ice sheet. We are concerned about wildfire depositing soot on the Greenland ice sheet and Arctic sea ice because it's, it's multiplying the effect of warming on, on climate change. Soot, also known as black carbon, is released when you burn dung, coal, diesel fuel, and wood. With uh, climate warming, we observe uh, a longer fire season, more fires. Atmospheric currents carry soot thousands of miles from where it is produced to the Himalayas and the Arctic. Black carbon, being black, absorbs sunlight, so even a little soot on snow makes it melt faster. Dr. Tom Painter of NASA and PhD student Mackenzie Skiles are experts in the field of snow reflectivity and will be members of the Dark Snow Project team. It's been in the last 10, the last 10 years really that we've had the instrumentation that has allowed us to go out. So the, the, the field portable spectrometers that has allowed us to have the, the actual measurements needed to, to see that in fact these impacts are happening. So the best way to collect that snow is probably through a snow core. It's a, it's a small diameter tube that you can core down to the previous year's um, surface layer, so the previous summer's surface layer and even beyond. We will also dig snow pits to collect um, black carbon concentrations. The reason that Jason got in touch with us is the work that we've been doing in, in the mountains in Colorado, looking at dust impacts on snowmelt. So dust blown out of the, the Colorado Plateau and the Great Basin. It turns out that the dust causes the snowpack to melt away weeks earlier. And for those of us in the snow hydrology field, we still are amazed, and therefore the broader community is even more amazed at, at what we're seeing for that impact. That soot has an effect on ice sheets is certain. That ice sheets are darkening is known. But the exact role that increasing wildfire soot plays in ice sheet melt is the mystery that Dark Snow Project will explore. As climate warms, we, we may have you know, a surprising amount of, of increasing melt and that ultimately um, contributes to global sea level rise and uh, changing weather patterns down south where most people live. You never know until you get on the ground and just make some in situ measurements and those are, are not difficult to make. Uh, the difficulty is getting to Greenland and, and you know, affording the, the air charter, and, and that's why we're doing crowdsource funding uh, to, to try to raise enough funding to get to Greenland, make these, these ground truth measurements so that we will have 100% you know, certainty that, that increasing wildfires are making uh, the cryosphere at large uh, darker and absorbing more sunlight, and that being a multiplying effect on uh, increasing melting in the Arctic. For the Dark Snow Project to succeed, your help is needed. Please visit darksnowproject.org and consider a tax-deductible donation to this unique citizen science initiative and help expand the boundaries of knowledge in this critical area of climate science.